welcome back to another tutorial with Amy Makes That. If you don't know who I am, I am obviously Amy and I create videos on all things in regards to Cricut related projects, design space tips, font tutorials, and a lot of digital tutorials in regards to how to download fonts. If you're new here, thank you for joining me today. So today's video is on how to create a decal for an acrylic milk carton water bottle. These were kind of on my radar for a while and I've been waiting for the perfect moment to do a tutorial on these little guys and they came out so amazing. I think this has to be one of my favorite projects yet because I mean they came out adorable. Like there's no denying because it's very similar to if you created a wrap or decals for a Starbucks cup. I did do a decal on a Starbucks cup by the way. I'll insert the card right here and I'll post like the thumbnail right here. If you do want to see more from me don't be shy and follow my Instagram. I post on my Instagram story every single day including my most recent post is on that I just celebrated 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Saying that it seems so so surreal. It means the world to me your support. I'm going to be doing a giveaway A dog is barking the minute I talk it's gonna start Let's See that's all I'm gonna say But you'll definitely want to follow my Instagram for that because all the details will be on there So again, I'll post my Instagram here I always keep my links down below as well as all of the products that I use in today's video will be linked in the video description below as well as the SVGs I use I created these SVGs on here. And yeah, I think I said everything. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, let's get into it. Welcome to VoiceOver Amy. So here is how I made the butterfly wrap. I'm going to start from scratch, but as usual, I want to show you how I made it from the beginning. I did mention this in the introduction, but I created the SVGs for everything that you see in this video today, including this butterfly decal. I did not make it a wrap, which I will explain in a little bit why I didn't. So when you do download it, you will get a folder like this. You'll have eight files in total. The first one is going to be the holographic layer which is butterfly one and the black layer is going to be butterfly two or whatever colors you make it just know that the filled in colored one butterfly one is going to be the colored layer so here I'm uploading it as usual as I do with all of my uploads I will upload it as a PNG just because it's a little bit simpler for Cricut design space and then I'll click and insert the image. And I'm not adjusting the size yet because I want to make sure that when I put the black layer on top, it is the same size. So I'm repeating the same exact process, which I do go over in a lot of my videos since I am going to be going a little bit fast in certain areas because this video is so long already. And to make it easier, I'm just changing the holographic layer to the color that I wanted, which is this like little peach color. And then I dragged the black layer right over. And an easy way to make sure that it is even is you'll highlight both layers, click the align button, click center horizontally and center vertically. And make sure you group it before you start adjusting the size. For the template for the acrylic carton, as you can see, it has four sides. So I measured all of them. So I just labeled it as 2.2 for the width and then six inches for the length. So I made four of these and duplicated them and I made sure I aligned them perfectly so there are no gaps in between. You could also align this by the top um, and by the bottom to make sure that they are in the right place. Since we have our template ready, I'm going to speed this part up because it's simply me just adjusting the size on the butterfly and rotating them. Now, I did not mention this, but future tip, if you are doing these butterflies, please make sure that you make the size bigger than I did because it was so difficult to weed. That was kind of the very tedious part. You know, see how I'm making four of these butterflies? I would honestly do three to two butterflies on each one instead of me doing three to four because again, these butterflies were so small and detailed, it just makes it way easier to make the butterflies as big as possible. So here I'm just repeating the same steps, and then what I did was instead of redoing it again, I duplicated it and then aligned it by the top. 
So it's a very repetitive process. You do not have to do it the same way that I did, but I kind of just tilted every one by each way and, and just saw how I liked it and kept it that way. That's why I didn't want to keep it as a wrap because some people might want it differently. So then I deleted the old one that I had. I'm saving everything, hiding the template, and now this part you gotta pay attention to. So I ungrouped every single butterfly, which is why I'm going really fast because it took a very long time. So ungroup them because you do not want them to be grouped together. Now what we'll do is we'll go by each row, select the holographic layer, select those three butterflies, group and weld them. Then do the same thing for the black layer. So for that row, you'll select the three butterflies, you'll group them, weld them, and I'm just repeating that same exact process for each individual row. So again, so select the three holographic layers, group them, weld them, and then again, select the black layers for that row. You'll wanna do this separately because they're going to be two different colors. So I'm just speeding this part up again because this video is so long. And now you see that you have all the rows individual by the holographic and the black layers. Now what we can do is we can select all of the black layers. So we'll select one, two, three, four, and we will group and weld them. You could group them then weld, or you could just weld like I did. And then you'll do the same thing for the holographic. So make sure they're all in the right place that you want them to be. And now we have two layers. So everything is in the same place. This is why it's so important to have that template in place. And now I'm going to switch to the cheetah one. So again, this is what it's going to look like in Cricut Design Space. It does upload a little bit bigger, which I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that because I did adjust the size to what it should be. But here I adjusted it to 8.8. .8. Those are the measurements, so 8.8 .8 by 5.9, which is the exact way that I did it. And again, you can also change the colors if you like, but I kept it to black. Now for both of them, we're going to change the base material to vinyl. And here I'm just showing you the acrylic carton. You can open it through the cap or you could twist it open like this to get more liquid in there. So you could either do coffee, water, whatever you like. Then I'm using this glossy black vinyl and this holographic vinyl as well. They are from 143 Vinyl, which are linked in the video description. And here I'm just cutting everything. Again, the base material is set to vinyl and I cannot stress enough, please make sure that your butterflies are bigger than what I did because you'll see in a few why it was so tedious. So I removed the background first because I found it easier. Then I'm weeding the individual butterflies. Now, what made it super easy, instead of doing it by hand by weeding like this, I tried reverse weeding for the first time, which was such a game changer, which I'll show you. you. Take a piece of tape or you could take transfer tape, whatever you like. This is just blue scotch tape and you'll place it on top of it and hold it down because you don't want the background of the black part to come up. You want the little pieces to be weeded. And you'll see, look at how easy it brought up all the pieces. Obviously it didn't do all of them, but it saved so much time rather than weeding each individual little section, which again is why it was so tedious. So here are the two layers. Now what you can do is you can either take a big sheet of transfer tape and do the entire thing, or what I preferred was to cut each row individually because I found it easier to apply the transfer tape to each row versus doing it to all of the butterflies at once. So if that kind of makes sense, you'll see here, I'm applying the transfer tape to the black part of the butterfly. I'm going to scrape it down with my scraper tool. And then I'm removing the backing from that. So we just have the transfer tape and the black butterfly. And then we can place that on top of the holographic layer, which is why I said it might be easier to do by each row because you're doing three butterflies to four butterflies at a time versus all of them at once. That can get very overwhelming and you might not be able to layer them correctly. You wanna make sure that the black layer covers all of the holographic layer and then you can remove the background. 
and we have one row ready to go. So here I am placing it onto one of the sides of it and again we're just applying the transfer tape, applying it to the acrylic carton and repeating the exact same steps. So it's kind of tedious in which you're repeating the same steps, you're applying the transfer tape to the black section of the vinyl, then you're removing it, applying it to the holographic layer, removing that again, applying it to the milk carton, and then removing the transfer tape again. So that's why I sped up this part because this video would honestly be 30 minutes long and I don't want to do that to you guys. And if you do need to go back on a few steps, please do so. Like you could rewind this video and replay it as many times. So now we have our beautiful butterfly acrylic milk carton. And now we can go to our cheetah decal, which was so, so much easier, guys, because we weren't weeding little pieces of the butterfly. I again weeded the background of this first, and that was very simple, as you can see. And then I applied the transfer tape to the design. And then I used my scraper tool to make sure it was thoroughly on the transfer tape. You want to scrape this for a very long time because you could even see here, I had a lot of difficulty. Some of the pieces were coming up a lot, which was kind of annoying. My hands were hurting by the time of this. So make sure you really thoroughly use the scraper tool so it applies great on the transfer tape. The simple times and now we can start applying it to the decal, made sure that it was straight and just simply applied it and scraped it with the scraper tool. And then you'll want to see I like really pull on the transfer tape and hold the milk carton down so it's as flat as possible. And then I did the rest of the half and it ended up perfectly onto the fourth side. So then I heavily scraped every side down once more and removed the transfer tape. And this is also permanent vinyl, so please do not put it through the dishwasher, but you can wash this with soap and water. Of all kinds of things, the Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and click my subscribe button to see more videos. If you do use my SVG, if you make them or you want to do a different design, please tag me, comment. I would love to see your renditions of your own acrylic milk cartons. And again, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I'm so excited for the next 10,000 and can't wait to see you in my next video. And I will see you then. Bye!